Hey, good morning, YouTube. It's Craig. Reviews for you. Wow. Wake up, and now there's 700 subscribers. Okay, so now we got two more giveaways to do. All right, so for the 600, we're giving away a lightsaber from Ultra Sabers. And that is going to go to Jeff Cotto. Jeff Cotto, you just got you a, an Ultra Sabers lightsaber. Um, email me your information at reviewsforyou18 at gmail.com. And for number 700, which woke up this morning and it was 700, so um, it's going to go to Andy Gunn. So, Andy Gunn, send me your information, reviewsforyou18 at gmail.com. Okay, so let's get right into it. Um, today's surgery day, so I have to go get surgery done. Um, I'm going to be back later on this afternoon, well, later on tonight. So, I'll do an update then on uh, everything going on Star Wars. Okay, so in the email, yeah, it was confirmed that it looks like Kathleen Kennedy is going to get a reprieve until 9. So um, we know the head of Disney is going to retire. She's actually looking to get a promotion. Because you've done such a great job. Yeah, that's a true story. She's hoping to take his position. Um... Uh, the position she needs to take is uh, in the unemployment line. That's the position she needs to take. Now, now are are these other movies actually going to take place now? Um, they're seriously rethinking the Boba Fett. They are not rethinking the live action series um, because they can actually run that on their own channel. So, the... Um, Obi-Wan movie is still on because they all know that the fans love Obi-Wan. We love Obi-Wan's character. Um, now, will there be a lot more origin stories? It's highly doubtful. I mean, Solo's really, really, really tanking hard. Um, I looked at box office numbers throughout the week so far, but remember, we're not that far into the week. Um, and it's pulled in another 8 million. Okay, so that's not a lot. So, come this weekend, you know, this thing's, for, in order to get the, their projection, they're going to have to do three times what they did on opening weekend. That's not going to happen. It's, it's just not going to happen. Um, Solo's going down. Um, is it going down because it's a bad film? You know, yeah. Is it going down because, you know, Lucasfilm decided to treat all the customers like they did? Yeah. You know, we're just going to make sure that it's not a solo boycott. It's just, it's a complete Star Wars boycott. It is a full-out Star Wars boycott. My wallet is not opening up until there's changes made at Lucasfilm. And I don't mean changes from what style of this or what's uh, there has to be changes at Lucasfilm. Um, now I do have some bad news. Um, we were going to get, we were supposed to get two Star Wars movies a year. That's now been reduced down to one because these idiots still think that it's lack or, or it's, it's, it's Star Wars fatigue. Too many movies coming out at the same, you know, just in succession. That's not the problem. But they have made the decision to come down to one movie per year. It better be one hell of a movie. I mean, it really should. But, I mean, we really, if if they do make the changes and we get back into making good films and we can all go back to enjoying the stuff that we really, really enjoy, which is Star Wars. Good Lord, there's so much of that stuff around here. It's It's ridiculous. If they do that, you know, still, one movie a year is good. Yeah, I would you know, I was really looking forward to having two a year, and boy, then that abomination came out, The Last Jedi. Um, there was a petition going around that I signed for um, 
the last Jedi to not become canon. I don't know if y'all saw that petition or not. It was floating around all over the place. I signed it. By the time I by the time it had gotten to me, there were over two hundred thousand signatures. So, um, I don't want any of the Disney stuff so far to be canon. None, none. The only thing I want to be canon is is when Darth Vader came through the, that that dark that dark corridor. Uh, and started kicking people's ass in Rogue One. That's the only thing I really care about being canon at this point. Um, now, would I like to see a Darth Vader movie? If it's done right, I would like to see um, what he went through after he put the suit on, after Padme, you know, died, and how did he become so evil? We all, you know, we, we all went through all this stuff. We've all read the books. We've all read, you know, but, I mean, I would really like to see that on screen. Um, just a message to Disney, in case one of your shills is watching this. Um, this is the problem with Disney. This is why you're not getting any money. This is why all your stuff's going to fail. Now, your toy sales, well, they're failing, one, because your movie sucked. And two, they're really horrible toys. That's the most god awful Hot Wheels cars I have ever seen in my entire life. And how do you make a how do you make a Hot Wheels car that reminds you of a person? None of those remind me of anything. I mean, if you made the emoji for a big, you know, for the for the pile of crap and then stuck four wheels on it, I would I would remember Tico. I would remember Rose Tico. Okay, well, there's Rose Tico's car. But y'all need to stop with that. This is just the most ridiculous toys. And then you're wanting $30 for a two-pack of toys that... We're, we're talking about the, the four-inch... Four-inch action figures. 30 bucks. No. I mean, you're wanting $60 for a freaking Nerf gun. Just because it says Star Wars on it. I got news for you. Your characters are not that strong to pull that kind of money, which is why your stuff's still sitting on the shelf. And which is why a whole bunch of it right now is sitting in a warehouse at overstock.com. That's a true story. Go to overstock and look. That's all I'm saying. I went to overstock. Um, you know, the pallet price is actually a pretty good price for, for the pallet of stuff, but I really have no use for it. I mean, I, I really don't. If it was some of the older toys and stuff like that, sure. Um, when I get done with surgery today, um, I will probably stop by the Toys R Us and go talk with uh, go talk with John and uh, see what else kind of old toys he's got sitting in the back. From and they got stuff sitting in the back. It's got dust on it. I mean, they have they have boxes that's never been opened from four or five years ago. So. That's that's how abysmal this really is. I mean, you're you're making you have all these starships, but yet you're not making any of them in toys. And the ones that you are making in toys, you're wanting three hundred dollars for. Three hundred dollars for. While I was at the hobby store the other day, that long story. I got to go by the hobby store because each one of these stormtrooper outfits I build requires a specific paint for the helmet. So, I go by the hobby store to go get the paint. Um, well, I decide I'm going to run back to the model section back in the back. And man, they want $60 and $70 for a regular X-Wing. Snap together model. Ain't happening, bro. Not happening at all. This is why your toys aren't selling. Now I'm going to try and find exact figures, and I'm going to—I mean, I found exact figures on on toy sales and how much they've actually dropped off. Um, and toy sales are down um, 84% from uh, from normal. And the only thing I can compare them to is last year, the year before, and the year before, and it, it roughly equals out to be about 84%. Um, but they don't specify by movie. So if they if they specify by movie, now we know that. You know, I've seen very little solo toys on the shelves. Um, but when I do see them, it's a full rack. 
I mean, really, who wants to buy them? I don't want the I don't want that millennial falcon. I, you know, I want Han Solo's falcon. Which I, I have a couple. Yeah, I have a couple. Um, I don't want the Millennial Falcon. And besides that, it shoots Nerf stuff. I, I, you can't fit two people in a cockpit. Um, it blows panels off of it all the time. I mean, granted, the Millennium Falcon is a piece of crap. All right, our Millennium Falcon is a piece of crap. It breaks down all the time. Most of the time, it's the hyperdrive, though. It's not the whole damn ship blown up. But anyway... It's my quick update for this morning. Stay strong. I'm gonna stay strong. We're gonna we're gonna build this up. Man, I can't believe we've already gotten to uh, 700. Well, actually, 700 plus actually subscribers so far. Um, so, Jeff Cotto, Andy Gunn, reviews for you. 18 at gmail.com. Send me your information. And I'll get y'all stuff out to you. Till next time, it's Craig. Reviews for you. I am out of here. You don't know the power of the dark side.